My name is Claire Chambers and I'm a senior lecturer in global literature at the University of York in the UK and there I teach and research Pakistani writing in English and literature by authors of Muslim heritage. Right now I think the Pakistani literature scene is very vibrant. At the beginning, um, Pakistani literature in English lagged behind certain other countries in South Asia, especially India and Sri Lanka. But in the last 20 years or so, it's not only caught up with those countries, but in many ways is surpassing them in terms of a complete flowering of Pakistani fiction written in English, dealing with cutting edge themes, with wit and ser great seriousness as well. I think the current landscape of Pakistani writing in the UK is diverse and it's very high quality. For me, it's very exciting that writers like Mohsen Hamid and Kamala Shamsi are starting to look at the UK for the first time in any detail in their novels. So in Exit West and Home Fire, their respective novels, both from last year, 2017, they're looking at London. Um, then we've got the emergence of genre fiction, so chick lit by authors like Aisha Malik and crime fiction and one particular writer that springs to mind is M.Y. Allam who's written a trilogy of um, thrillers, crime writing set in Bradford, the mean streets of the north of England. And then Bradford's also been represented in literary fiction, for example in Nadim Aslam's beautiful poetic novel Maps for Lost Lovers. So there's a lot of exciting things coming out of Britain just at the moment. Fiction allows people to see that they're not alone in their thoughts and emotions, so it makes them realise that other people are having experiences similar to them, which is very good for building bridges. And I think that the fact that Pakistani writing in English is increasingly finding a lot of readers in countries like India, and Indian literature has for quite a long time had avid fans here in Pakistan, is just one example of the way that fiction can build bridges.